So a lot of people are responding to my video about Greg Roman with a comment like this about how we have no receivers, it's not his fault. And you know what? The fact that the Ravens have not had a receiver catch a touchdown since week three, yeah, that's not on Greg Roman. But when you see his scheme, he's not doing the worst receiver room in the NFL any favors. Take a look at some of these plays. This is a second down and 10 screen pass to a fullback. This man was originally brought in to be a defensive tackle, by the way, who we transitioned into becoming a fullback in Pat Ricard. Same game. Take a look at how everyone on the field bunches up over here. No one's over here. Everyone's over here, and it ends with a drop pass. Look at how no one spreads the field. We got people right next to each other. Same thing. Same thing. And this receiver is over here. Which way is he going? Oh, yeah, the same direction as the other three. Oh, and who can forget this gem of a play call when the Ravens offense is moving down the field the best they had all day to that point, and you draw up your Ravens wide receiver five to throw it right into triple coverage. Genius. I also cannot count the amount of times the Ravens have broken the huddle with, like, six on the play clock. Like, that's a common, common thing with the Ravens that you see all the time. Here, I literally just picked out a random Ravens game, and let's see how long it takes me to find a Ravens offensive play where it takes them a while to get the ball snapped. Three... Two, one, four. All right, let's do the Jacksonville game now. Literally the first play of the game. They snap it at six. Play clock at one, actually zero. Four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, five, four, three. Why don't you listen to RG3, everybody? Molly, I disagree that the Ravens as a whole organization are holding Lamar Jackson back. I was there for three years in that locker room, in that building, and saw how much energy they poured into Lamar Jackson and how much he was receptive of the things that they were trying to get him to do. Whether it was the advanced technology that they used to find deficiencies in his mechanics or bringing in specialized throwing coaches to help him develop more as a passer and he has shown that he can do that in 2019 he, he led the league in touchdown passes with 36 of them so i don't think it's the baltimore ravens as a whole and i know ravens fans are going to rejoice after this it's greg roman greg roman's system is a run first system and he builds that system not only to lamar's strengths but also to greg roman's strengths as a sophisticated run game orchestrator and also what the ravens have at their disposal